Hey everybody. Coming from an inventor background, I often wonder if there's a better way to get really complex geometry into Inventor. Rather than trying to do a bunch of sculpts and sweeps and lofts and spend a ton of modeling time getting a detailed, sculpted, kind of organic model created in Inventor, I was looking into ways to do that with other Autodesk software. And one of the tools I came across was this Autodesk mud box. So I've got a trial version of this I was testing out to see what kind of interoperability we had with Inventor. Now just to give you a quick rundown here, and as you can see I've actually modeled up a character and this started from a basic form character that was provided just the general shape of a head. And then I added features to the nose, eyes, ears, lips, uh, pushed and pulled, added texture, added uh, some of the different uh, painting on there and so on, just to see what I could do. Give you a quick overview here. A couple of techniques. One is this pretty cool grab technique right here. So if I go ahead and maybe I'll make my brush size a little smaller here. I'm going to try to give this guy elf ears. Something about like that. So this allows us to do a lot of different things. And you can see how easy it is to adjust a model just based on grabbing a little bit of the model and reorienting it. Now if I want to make overall sweeping changes, we can make our brush size quite a bit larger. And you can see it's affecting a larger region. I wanted to give this guy maybe a scar or something like that. I'll just grab my sculpt brush, make something a little smaller here. Oh, and it looks like I've still got my mirroring on, so let's turn that off. Don't see too many people with symmetrical scars or anything like that. So we can go ahead and add something in like that. And of course, we can paint a lot of different aspects on here uh, with different stamps and stencils as well as any of the different colors and a whole host of different variety of painting tools. I happen to like the airbrush and erase quite a bit. But in this case let's just say we really don't care to see the mustache. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. Now to get to the topic I was really had at hand here what I really was able to do was to save this out as an FBX file. And that's an exchange format that Autodesk is now using to exchange data between many of their different media and entertainment products. But there's some other manufacturing products that can start using that as well. I happen to have used it previously with Navisworks to bring in model data into the factory floor simulation. Well, what I did in this case is I saved this out as an FBX. And then I tried bringing that into other Autodesk applications, uh, namely 3D Studio Max and AutoCAD, because I know those have a lot of editing and translation type capabilities. Uh, what I found that worked best for me is I brought this into Max, and I uh, was able to save out a DWG file from there that I opened in AutoCAD. Well, in AutoCAD, it's got some pretty neat tools in there now to do surface modeling, uh, solid modeling, the one tool I found I wanted to use from AutoCAD was a mesh to surface tool. So I actually took what this is, a mesh, and converted it to surfaces right inside of AutoCAD. From there I saved that out as an ACES file which I could easily open up in Inventor. Which brings us to that model. So it looks a little different without any textures or colors or anything like that on it. But you can see here it's basically the same model. I brought this in and it came in as surfaces, which I then I created a new surface using a uh, essentially a boundary patch because the bottom of the form here was not closed off previously. Uh, once I got that closed, I just stitched it together and it was able to make a solid out of this. So there you have it. I don't think anybody's going to really spend the time to solid model something like this inside of Inventor, but 
even if you're not trying to get character type forms into Inventor, I have seen more organic shapes that people do use in manufacturing. For example, the furniture industry has a lot of typical prismatic, you know, stick shapes and and typical planed lumber type shapes, but it also has a lot of intricately carved details for some of the ornamental woodworking. I could see Mudbox being a perfect fit to sculpt out some of those shapes to get a good idea of what it is you think you want to create. And you can bring that all the way through your digital prototyping process for the ornamental work would work to show that in Inventor and to also get that in the drawing view so that it does show up there. But then also for other downstream visualization, possibly using something like Showcase. So you have that detailed uh, topology that you would want to see to create photorealistic imagery and things like that for marketing and sales. So thanks again for joining us on this edition of the Tata Technologies CAD Geeks blog.